Hello my friends, it is time for another skincare empties video. I do these videos roughly every two months on this channel. If you are just stumbling upon this video, please make sure you expand the description box below for a bit of an explanation because as a heads up, this series always has some kind of chaotic element to it. And the explanation for the chaos is in the description box below. We also have, of course, categories for this video and timestamps for the categories in the description box below as well. I like to link my favorites also. I'll have affiliate links whenever possible there if you'd like to help support the channel. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the cleansers and toners. I'm actually really pleased with the selection we have today for this category. It makes a lot of sense. So let's start with the Innisfree Blueberry Rebalancing Cleansing Water. I've talked a lot about how, as I have dry skin, I don't necessarily need to do a deep cleanse every single morning. So I do like to use products like this. It's a cleansing water, it's kind of like a micellar water, just for a quick rinse. I've heard from other dry skin types that they may not need to wash their face at all in the morning, but for me, I, I guess it's probably just because I do use a lot of products every night. So something like this works out well. I don't think I'll rush out to repurchase this, but I don't have any complaints. You know, it's another one of those fine products. If I can get a great deal on it, I might consider repurchasing. But as for now, I switched over to, uh, I think, what did I, what did I buy from Ulta? <laughs> I think the Avene micellar water. I finished off another Rosen Super Smoothie Cleanser. I was thinking more about this just the other night. And you know what I realized? This product actually reminds me a lot of the Tatcha Rice Wash. I mean, nobody would ever call it a dupe. It looks different, but it's in terms of sensation, it feels similar. If you've tried the rice wash, you know how it has this super gentle physical exfoliation. The Tatcha rice wash is just such a different experience from something like St. Ives apricot scrub. It is, again, this is much more in line with that. It's very gentle. I try not to repurchase but I couldn't resist repurchasing this. Physical exfoliation and very gentle chemical exfoliants work best for me. You know, I really think skincare is a journey for us to find what works for each of us. I get a lot of questions about the Neutrogena oil-free eye makeup remover. I think because I do talk a lot about Lancome's Bifacil, which is, in my opinion, the best of the best, but you know where this wins? it is so much more affordable. It's Neutrogena, so its retail price isn't the best, but you can find really good deals on this. I've bought it for two to three dollars. And in all truth, this has to be second best to Bifacil. Bifacil can take off purple and pink and orange eyeshadow. This struggles a little bit with that, but they're both equal in terms of uh, getting off lash residue, false lash residue, tough to remove eyeliner, both of them are equal in that aspect. What I don't like about this, I, I feel like I always lose some product because it's just an open uh, bottle. <laughs> here, I, I know what I'm trying to describe. I will show it to you. So here's, here's my Bifacil. Bifacil has a stopper and that helps a ton in terms of not wasting. This very bottle right here, I definitely had a day where I forgot it doesn't have the stopper like Bifacil and so I spilled quite a bit of it I wonder if I can get the stopper off the Lancome bottle and maybe put it on, because I did repurchase this. I, I wonder, maybe I can figure out how to do that. Anyway, we also have a toner, the Haru Haru Wonder Black Rice Hyaluronic Toner. Honestly, I use that to make uh, sheet masks, as I've shown. I will link my video again. I do like this. It is nice and hydrating, but I, I think what it comes down to for me with toner is that I really do love finding a toner that does a little more than just hydration. Because of my skin type, I prefer to find a toner that will also, you know, help me improve my sensitive skin, reduce acne. I really like to have a little bit more in my toner, but it does make for great DIY sheet masks. Okay, friends, I guess we are getting the chaotic section out of the way pretty early this time. You see, it just it just always happens this way. So this is our serum section. And again, the thing to keep in mind is that I've had all of these for varying lengths of time. I'm also including some kind of minis in this section just because I want to talk about them here. Okay, so let's start out with the Bubble Daydream Tone and Texture Serum. This is my favorite vitamin C. It's my favorite. Again, keep in mind I have acne, so the vitamin C derivative that they use in here, along with the tranexamic acid and niacinamide, it's just an incredible blend for my skin type. I repurchased it. 
<laughs> I feel like this empty series ends up being what did Alice cave on and just realize she couldn't live without. <laughs> I have a couple of peptide products here. Oh, let me disclose PR. So that would be the Cure and the Dungenbi. Yes. So as you all know, I've been doing this peptide quest over here. The Cure is another product that uses Argyroline. Now, Buffet has Argyrolox. You all remember this from the peptides video. I really do have to say, I don't know what Cure added into their product to make it feel like the Argyroline is doing a bit more. But I guess, you know, that, that hypothetically that's supposed to be what you are paying for in a high-end product. But you gotta keep in mind, especially with brands like The Ordinary, that you still can increase product absorption by using something like, even just having moist skin before you apply a product increases the absorption. I like to use something like the Suisu First Care. Some toners and serums do have additional ingredients to aid in product absorption. You don't necessarily have to spend quite this much, but this is an example of a product that does promise to be uh, a product that increases absorption. I do find that helps a lot with brands like The Ordinary so that you can kind of spend a little, that's a bad example. <laughs> we talked about this with the Monyo Tryon, so that's a better example. You can use something like the Monyo Toner and then Buffet, and I do feel like that gives the same results as something that is a bit more expensive. Again, I did like this one though. I like Buffet as well, and it's a lot more affordable. So Buffet is what I caved and repurchased. Now known as the Ordinary's Multi-Peptide Serum, of course. Dunginbee's Red Ginseng Daily Defense Essence EX. Oh my goodness, I love that product. Let's just, here, let's do this. <laughs> let's get the Suisu out of the way since I already picked it up anyway. These are both ginseng products. Suisu is a much more, I guess, well-known brand. I will admit Suisu is kind of a couple of steps ahead of Dunginbee in terms of where they are with the research. I think Suisu must have a, a, an amazing research team in-house. But Dunginbi is not far behind and their price points are so much better. So I am grateful I did another sponsorship with them and I got another backup because I love my ginseng skincare. You too, Suisu, but you're just too expensive for me. I can only ever buy the little mini sizes off of Stylevana. <laughs> Okay, this Tower 28 Intensive Rescue Serum, this is a hypochlorous acid product. I am, I, I, when did I, oh, I talked about this in the Sephora sale recommendations video. I'm not gonna repurchase this, but I did buy the vacay all day. Anybody else? I got my uh, mist in there. I never buy much in the Sephora VIB sale, but I did buy that set and a couple Sephora collection items, and then I made a huge Yes Style haul. Your money just goes so much farther shopping a non-sale on K-Beauty websites. It's, it's mind-blowing, really. Uh, the Drunk Elephant Sea Firma Fresh Day Serum, I do like this. I think they had a brilliant idea in terms of uh, having the vitamin C powder separate from the rest of the product. It never started to change color on me. And you know, that's the drawback with l ascorbic acid serums. Also finished a mini of the Estee Lauder, what happened to the lettering there? <laughs> Advanced Night Repair Serum. I do love that one. I plan on trying Manyo as soon as my Stylevana order comes in. I think it'll, we'll probably plan for it in June. And then finally, Differin, my Adapalene Retinoid. Y'all know I've been using the La Roche-Posay Adapalene. I've had a lot of people ask me to try the Differin gel to see if there's any differences. <laughs> Whoa, sorry y'all. Listen, jokes aside, I see absolutely no difference between the two, so I would say uh, buy whatever is presently a better deal. I mean, that's how I am. I'm not a loyalist to any brands. I care the most about products working and me getting the best deal on them. Now look at this moisturizer and sunscreen selection. Doesn't this actually make more sense? But I think, I think our last empties video had a ton of moisturizer. I am telling y'all, that is just how these empties go. So we have one moisturizer, the Edom Cloud Cushion Airy Brightening Moisturizer. I absolutely loved this. This is such a cute little brand, and they're using a peptide in this that we haven't yet talked about. See, I'm telling y'all, the world of peptides, it is just so massive. But anyway, it's a brightening peptide in here. This is a woman of color owned brand, and so they used a peptide that actually researched whether their brightening properties work on all skin 
tones, and you would think that would be the default, but it is not. Absolutely love that little brand. I want to try more from them, but they're uh, such a small company that they don't have a lot of products, which is good overall. A couple of sunscreens. I talk all the time about this Skin 1004. I have received a lot of these in PR, which I'm grateful for, from the brand, from Stylevana. I'm grateful for it because it truly is one of my absolute favorites. The Kinship Self Reflect, I started using that one more because I've been digging makeup more lately. And I don't like this one worn on its own. It's a mineral sunscreen and it kind of has that heavy feel to it, but I do like it as a primer, which makes sense because my primer preferences are those heavier primers. If you have a sunscreen like this, you may find you don't need an additional primer. So yeah, that's what I used this one for. I used it up. I did get another one of these, although I got it via a trend mood box. It expires soon though. I was surprised by that. Yeah, it expires in, I think, August. So gonna have to stick with that. <laughs> Next up is eye and lip. You all know I struggle with finishing K-Beauty eye creams in particular, right? So we don't have any this time, but we do have the Elemis Pro Collagen Advanced Eye Treatment. I got that one through, you know how Elemis, the, the direct website will have these amazing gifts with purchases where you can buy one item. So I had bought a cleanser and then I got this, a good size of the moisturizer and something else. I don't remember what, but this was a full size. It's $95 at retail. If you do like the Elemis brand, I highly recommend you shop them direct. So anyway, I got to try that through that deal and uh, I, I don't dislike it, but you know, my thing with Elemis is they're really expensive. <laughs> They're really expensive. I don't know if it's just me, but let me tell you something that Ara and I have been talking about a lot. As a heads up, this might sound briefly like I'm bragging, but you'll quickly see it's anything but. You know, Ara and I make more than we used to pre-2020. We actually make more money than Ara's parents, and for the record, she did not grow up poor like I did. But riddle me this, we actually worry about money? in ways we never did prior to 2020. I think it's just that inflation, it's, it's not just beauty products. You know, it's, it's affected everything. We cannot get out of a grocery store without a moment of silence for our poor bank account. And so it, it's just, it's really wild to think on paper we're doing well, but it's hard for me to buy these expensive products. Even though I used to be able to budget easily for these, while I was making less money. Anyone else? Long story short, I am so glad I've discovered K-Beauty because the product quality, it, it compares to a, a $95 eye serum here. And yet it's, what, a tenth of the price? Sometimes I do feel bad though because this channel did not used to be K-Beauty, but I've just fallen so hard for it that, you know, if you were somebody who was here for my love for Elemis a couple years ago, I feel apologetic that now I'm over here going, actually, I can't quite afford this brand anymore. But yeah, that kind of is the reality. Okay, <laughs> we have a couple of lip products. These, uh, these are, oh, I love these so much. Kopari's Lip Glossy is a long, long running favorite. I love to just always have this in my bag, reapply it over, over lipstick, just on its own, anytime throughout the day. You don't have to worry about, you know, having a scoop with it. It's, it's a wonderful product that feels very emollient on. Now, I don't like it for night though, because it doesn't feel like it stays on through the entire night. And that's how I ended up falling in love with this Alpen Beauty Willow and Sweet Agave Plumping Lip Mask. Now this is still high end, both of these are high end, but they're not too bad. I think this is about 26 and this about 16. I did repurchase both of those. <laughs> and by the way, I don't know how Grande Pout hasn't, well I do know how Grande Pout hasn't made it to this video. That is almost a lip serum in the way it works for me. So what I do is, you know, this is my daytime product, then I'll put on the Grande Pout at night, which is the tiniest amount, and I lock it in with something like the Alpen Beauty or really the Alpen Beauty because it's kind of become my favorite. <laughs> Our final empties category is masks. Y'all know I do like to feel like I'm pampering myself over here, so there's always quite a few in the mask section. My favorites, the Look At Me eye patches. Again, they're not my favorites because of the ingredients. They're actually kind of 
a bit boring, but they're my favorites because I'll stick a nice eye serum under these and then I feel like I get, I really do feel I get similar results to the Skin Iceland Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels. These are too expensive. I saw that they, the website ran 50% off recently, but I still didn't go for it because this is just so much more cost effective. But in all truth, I do like these. It's a really good formula, rich in, guess what? <laughs> Peptides. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna kind of go out of order. Can we get this out of the way? So I did finish my Shiseido facial cotton. I do love these. They're so nice. But uh, again, <laughs> over here worrying about money and these are expensive cotton pads. I just feel like sometimes you do need a cotton pad, especially for removing, uh, you know, shimmery, glittery eyeshadows. That's, that's really when I use these. So I bought some in my Yes Style haul that I already told you all about. I'll report back on if those are nice, but a lot of people in the reviews say they are. I hope those reviewers are right. Let's look at these next. So I bought the Patchology Warm Up Perfect Tin Self-Warming Hand and Cuticle Mask. <sighs> those are nice, but it's just so expensive for one hand treatment. Just, just so expensive. I bought a couple of the Cream Shop Turn That Frown Upside Down. I, I, <laughs> I like these, I do like them, but I don't think you really need these. The Pacifica silicone patches uh, seem to do the same thing as these. It's, it's the, the Pacifica silicone system, what you do with that is the same thing I describe with these. Put some kind of serum down, put your silicone patches over those, and then you don't have to buy as many of these kind of products. This was gifted, the Medicube Deep Vita C patch. I, I like those, but I do feel like you have to use so many of this kind of product in order to see results on uh, hyperpigmentation. The principle here is you're getting some ascorbic acid, niacinamide, glutathione, vitamin C in a dissolvable microneedling patch, but you don't see results even from, you know, one microneedling treatment. You gotta go back for more. So you just, I feel like you need a lot of these to see results. You will see results, but it takes a lot of boxes. And it's, these products, they're never inexpensive, you know? It probably is more expensive to make these microneedling style, but yeah, it's, it's just expensive. If you can afford them, I do think they'll work, but be prepared to buy a lot. The I'm From Honey Mask, I repurchased that. Got a great deal on Stylevana for the, the full size this time. One of my favorites for repairing my skin. And then some pimple patches because I have acne. So uh, I gotta say, I, I've said it before, I gotta say it again. This Eliza Vecca Blemish Spot Patch I think this is my favorite. They're thicker. They might even be thicker than both of these, which are both pretty good, but I think these are thicker. They actually seem to absorb more of that pimple. And I've been able to find these 44 packs for between two to three dollars. I think these are my favorite. And our final section is my declutter. Now, in case you don't know this in advance, if you see something in a box, I decided pretty quickly that I'm not gonna keep that product and I'd rather pass it along to a friend or family member with the ingredients available for them to see. So to quickly go over everything, none of these Numbuzzin products should be a surprise. I talked about them in my Numbuzzin trial. The Lab Oligo Hyaluronic Acid Healthy Cream Cushion, that one just, it's just too drying and chalky and I just did not like it at all. The Costa Baja, see I don't have the box for this because I thought I would keep this. You know how I like my peptide serums, but I gotta admit, I just do not like using that. I just can't handle it anymore. And I feel like I, I very rarely complain about stickiness because I can, you know, put something on top and minimize the sticky sensation, but I just do not enjoy using this. It's, it's hard to override the stickiness with that one. So I've decided I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm letting it go. TM, Vita A, Bacuchio, Youth Serum, both of these were sent by Stylevana, and you can see me and my mom try these on. I am unsurprisingly decluttering this. I don't wanna take risks with bergamot oil, you know? I almost always react to that ingredient and it's just not worth it for me to keep pushing it, but I'm sure that will work out great for somebody else. And you know, I like this one too. I like the Farm Stay Collagen Every Night Sleeping Pack, but you know I gotta give it to my mom. I have to, she liked it too much. <laughs> 
And my friends, that brings us to the end of another Skincare Empties video. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Let me know if you found any exciting new skincare products that you are trying. I hope you all have a wonderful upcoming week. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button if you did enjoy today's video, and I will see you all next time.